Hi friend, thank you for joining me. My name is Jenny, this is At Home with Jenny. If you're new, thank you for joining us. Please feel free to subscribe and press the bell. That way you can get notified every Friday when I upload a video. If you're returning, thank you so much. It means the world to me. Thank you, thank you. So today we have a few things. We are going to vacuum the living room, clean the kitchen, uh, reorganize the foyer. Uh, I have like a buffet in there and a shoe rack that I want to get rid of. So I need to get rid of the shoes that are on there. I don't think any of those are mine or my husband's shoes. Uh, they probably belong to our sons and they didn't take them with them when they moved out. So I'm free to do with them whatever I need. I can sell them in a yard sale, which I plan on having in a couple weekends, or I could donate them to Goodwill if they're not uh, purchased during the yard sale. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Do you ever just wish you could do dishes as fast as this? I do. They're not my favorite thing to do. I don't mind loading the dishwasher and running it. It's the unloading and putting away that really gets to me sometimes. Oh. Anyway, I don't know uh, what age group my viewers are in, but we have just had our last child move out of the house. We are now empty nesters for real, and it is a very strange and awkward feeling. Um, I'm really missing my kids. So, <laughs> uh, I lost footage, but this was covered with stuff and I cleaned it off. So, I think now I'm going to go through the shoe rack back here. This is a yoga mat and a towel that I got from Hotworks um, near me. I haven't gone. probably should go. I just don't have a vehicle half the time because we only have one. So I can use it at home. I want to get a thumbtack and hang this sign up. Let me do that. These can go in the yard sale. These are light bulbs that we got that don't work for our light, light picture. Gotta find my way to you, even though you're next to me, no matter what I do. These are spirits, and they're in good condition. I just don't know what size they are. Oh, here we go. A men's ten and a half. These are Nikes. I don't know where these came from, but these are a men's ten and a half also. Oh. These are Asics. These are nice. These are a ten and a half. And there's got okay. on my way to you. Even though you're next to me. These are garbage. These are ripped. You know, I really miss my kids. Not having them around is really hard. Not having my grandson near me is excruciating. I just love them so much. I mean, I loved them when they were kids too, but this is different. Like, they're adults now, and I just want to hang Three out days with them. Since and I vacuumed last, maybe really four. be friends with my and kids now. 
all the fur and then this is the dirt. right side and there's the left side of the entryway to the living room. It's good. I like it. All I can say is if you're an empty nester and your adult children live near you, become friends with them. Cherish every moment you can get with them because life goes so fast. And I just want to know that I spent my life being the best friend I could to my children as adults. Because they need that. They still need their mom and dad just in a different way, right? I don't know, that's just what we're doing. We're trying to be there for our kids every turn and every bump in the road. So these have to go in the garage. My kids are in Idaho, Montana, North Carolina, Washington State, and I have one here with me in Tennessee. They are far away. So until we retire yeah. and can start traveling right, to see them, the the next phone day, calls and video chat are grocery, where it's at. Order, just a grocery pickup. I placed the order last night and then um, we'll see where today takes us. All right, we got black olives and green olives. We have carb counter, little teeny street taco tortillas, some sugar for the hummingbirds, batteries because our smoke detector was beeping the other night, tomatoes, red bell peppers, red leaf lettuce, some liquid smoke, this one is hickory flavored, some asparagus, lots of cheese, some oat milk non-dairy creamer. Uh, what's this? Cheese, it's cheese. It's, sing it's American craft cheese. <laughs> Eggs, pepperoni, we're gonna do, uh, hopefully this week, that's my plan, we are going to do a carnivore pizza. So that should be good for keto. I bought these as a little treat. We got more bacon, bought more sausage. Here's like some breakfast links and breakfast sausage patties, chicken thighs and pork chops. Oh yeah, and tonight we're having spam and eggs. I mean, isn't the empty nest stage of life supposed to be like, I don't know, liberating or exciting or something. I don't know. We moved a couple years ago. We're still new to this house. As far as I'm concerned, we've only been here for two years. We're starting our third summer here. And all I can say is it's almost too hot to go outside here. It has been a scorcher this summer. The humidity has been so high. Um, yeah, so right here I'm just sectioning out the meat, uh, trying to uh, portion it out per meal. It works out to four pieces per meal, so two chicken thighs per person. But there's one section where there's only two left. My husband actually had those with his uh, salad at lunch. I just uh, seasoned them up and put them in the air fryer, uh, 350 for about 20 minutes, and he said they were perfect. But this is what we do every week. Usually my husband's helping me though. I was just feeling a little off, like not quite right. And I realized I haven't had any coffee yet. <laughs> so let's go do that. All right, I have my first cup of coffee for the day. It's uh, 10.30 in the morning. 
just um, oat milk creamer that's caramel flavored and coffee no sugar it's really delicious you should try it if you're new here thank you for joining us I really appreciate you this is a judgment-free zone and in all honesty I just woke up from a nap I don't know if you can tell <laughs> <laughs> but I slept for about an hour and a half because I don't sleep well at night at all uh, so let's go ahead and start my laundry I'm not sure what time it is I think it's two or three in the afternoon I'll have to double check but I just woke up and grabbed my camera so let's do some laundry You know, when the kids were little, I had to do everybody's laundry. So I was doing laundry every single day of the week, almost. I would do each person's laundry on a different day. And then as they got older, I had them assigned to that day. So they would do their own laundry on that day. But now I just do my own, the bedding and the towels. It works out. I mostly wear dark, so that's what we're doing. I did wear a couple of white shirts last week so I'm looking for those I, I know that they're in there but I can't find them I do find them eventually I just have to stick with it I'm, I'm pretty stubborn <laughs> and there they are don't want to wash the whites in there pull these out I have to say though laundry days are pretty nice now it's usually one or two loads maybe three max and then I'm done, so four hours probably, and I'm done. It works, I like it. I really hope you guys have stuck around. If so, give me a peace sign in the comments, please. Uh, we are just catching up and we are about to go start dinner. We gotta use a little OxyClean Dark. Now I use my OxyClean with cold water with my clothes and I use the white OxyClean with my sheets cause they're white and I use hot water. I find that if I use Clorox bleach or a chlorine type of bleach, my sheets get a blue tint to them and I find it very weird. So now that my laundry started, I think that um, we can go ahead and start dinner in just a few minutes. All right, we have Spam sliced up and frying up in the frying pan. And then we will make some uh, eggs over easy. Well, I'll take over hard. My husband wants over easy. But that's it. This is our dinner. I'll show you when it's done. And there we go. All right, you guys, I am editing my video and I didn't film an outro. So here we go. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Please feel free to subscribe. Click the bell so you'll get my notifications every Friday. And I'll see you in the next one.